but uh, once you have the biochar in the soil, it's going to last for a thousand years because it's carbon and it's it's inert and it's not going to go anywhere. And so it's acting like a, a sponge in the soil. So it's slowly releasing nutrients, holds the water, holds the nutrients. When you add more nutrients and compost on the top, instead of the nutrients running through the soil, the, the carbon will hold on to it for you and slowly release it back. So we're holding this for a couple months. We've got it tarped up and it's ready to go. <laughs> okay, so this biochar has been sitting here for about a month now. And different creatures have uh, started to inhabit it. We've got snakes have come and shed their skins here. We've got uh, mushrooms that have come up. So it's just full of organisms. And let's take a look what it looks like after a month. So look at that. So you can see it's not hot anymore. It's not steaming. So it's finished its uh, rapid breakdown. So now the, the microorganisms are inside the biochar. And a lot of nutrients have gone in there. But we still want to leave it for another couple months because it's going to still keep absorbing those nutrients. And we want it to do that absorption process here before we put it into our field. Look at that. That's beautiful now. So it's all nice and mixed in together. It's really doesn't have any smell. So yeah, that's good stuff. And you can see all sorts of little creatures are, are working away inside here. They run away as soon as they get into the light, but there's a lot of them in there. You can see them going. They're all breaking down the, the manure and the compost that we put in there. So they're having a good time. This is their habitat now. So our next stage is we're just going to put this all into into bags and we're going to stick it in the in the barn for a while and then later on we'll be able to use it